We are here today talking to Ron Hareska about the upcoming interdisciplinary integration course that's going to be held in April of this year. And I just wanted to ask Ron a few questions for you out there that are considering taking the course on maybe why this may be of interest to you and, and why we chose the topic that we did this year. So I'll hand it off to Ron. Um, first question, Ron, that I have for you is why did you choose the topic of extension this year? The uh, uh, course title, Bobby, changed uh, uh, a little over a year ago. I had already another topic picked out for this, this course this year, and I put it to the side because I was getting a lot of feedback from people who were taking courses in PRI that were trying very hard to utilize concepts and ways to keep people working in a, a level that was uh, at moderation. In other words, uh, people who needed uh, maybe a pair of glasses to, so they could see things more easily and uh, stay neutral. People that needed uh, um, maybe orthotics to feel references like the, uh, the um, medial longitudinal arch on the right side to be able to shift and therefore stay neutral. Uh, people who needed maybe occlusal appliances to help them recognize uh, posterior bites or lateral bites to stay neutral. Um, there's, these are all people that are overstimulated. They're, they're put in positions where they have to, where they need or want more. They want to be able to see with better focus and appreciate their teeth better and appreciate how to work better with the, the foot. And we, I think, uh, have some really good theory and concepts in PRI that help a person uh, moderate that level to a level where they can achieve neutrality by using those appliances or orthotics for references. The one thing that uh, really struck me was that the person who doesn't know how to get to a level of moderate activity are, this, um, are the people that really want it, expect it, need it, use it. They want to become better. They want to become more powerful. They want to be uh, exceeding at levels they're existing at right now. And they're the people that have this self-efficacy need to achieve and, and they have this need to do more. And even though they may not be right ready physiologically or psychologically, they go through programs because they determine that that is their goal to do better to do more. And often those are the very same people who come back in our clinic who are never neutral. They're extended the minute we start out because they overdrive, they overwork. It's, a, it's, a, it's not just an autonomic nervous system, but they're using the autonomic nervous system and their, their adrenal cortex to accomplish things that they really can't do without extending their back or extending their neck or pulling more uh, effort in when they do it. That's what this, this whole course is all about. Mm -hmm. So people who don't feel like they're failing when they apply PRI concepts, uh, the PRI techniques, are, whether they're manual or non-manual, are going to help people understand neutrality. But overall, if that person doesn't have the willingness to understand why they're not capable of being, being neutral, then your program may look like a failure. But your program isn't failing because people come in and they're not neutral. If they're not neutral because the internal drive is there, uh, then you need to really think about what you're really trying to do with that individual. And this course will outline sure. the ways to go about feeling better about what you're doing with that type of a person and how to work with that kind of a person. We had kind of talked previous to us recording this about what kind of person that is. Can you just, for everybody out there, in your mind, who are you thinking of when you think of these type of people? They're people who really are a point in their life, Bobby, who may want to lose some weight, may want to pick up a new program to get them in, into something they've always wanted to do and never could maybe afford to do or were or, or, or capable of doing it. Uh, there are people that uh, might be at a level that is, as they get older, they may, be, they may have been in that level for decades, and they're trying to keep and sustain that level and without doing something different to be able to maintain that level. There are people that, with high, that, are, that are placed in uh, positions where there's lots of expectations on them. Like your, like your coaches. Coaches are people. They have expectations on them. And they have a need to drive people to get to certain levels. So I see a lot of coaches. I see a lot of uh, uh, people that are going through training programs that want to do better with their personal record, their PR time, or their PR performance. They want to best it and get better. Um, these are the kind of people that have this self 
efficacy need to excel. Um, and probably most importantly are those individuals who don't want to let someone down. Uh, in other words, they want to always be there for somebody. They want to make sure that they um, look like they're on top of it all with all the stresses going on around their life. They never let go. Uh, mm -hmm. These are people you and I know. It could be your spouse. Mm -hmm. It could be you. Mm -hmm. uh, and the demands placed on them are both occupational, environmental, uh, their family demands, and they're, they're struggling. And yet they, they really don't know how not to stay atop of it all by drive, you know, by lack of sleep, by more, mm -hmm. doing more with less, and doing more of, in, in the eyes of the people around them without ever being uh, said, you know what, you're way, you've expanded yourself way beyond your normal limits. So mm -hmm. uh, this, this is a course that's, that's there for all of those and, and then even those who really have to have extension. Mm -hmm. They're put in positions, they work off of it. Uh, they have to have it to, to perform a job. It's not going to, or to perform uh, uh, a task that they know they have to be at this level to get accomplished. Uh, there are a lot of those people out there, mm -hmm. uh, people that are, are, are hired for that uh, capability, that level of activity. More so than not, we have people around us that not only need it, want it, desire it, look for it, uh, um, research it, and that is drive, mm -hmm. powerful drive. Um, our culture is, 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 is a culture built on success, built on, on motivation, on drive, internal need, uh, uh, psychological, biopsychological bio -psychological, um, demands placed on them. And I think anybody who has that kind of a individual in their life or they may be that kind of an individual gets something out of this. Mm -hmm. And just before I let you go here, we had also talked about how Months and months ago, this topic of the course was actually something completely different. It was. And so it if was. you can kind of tell us what it was and what pushed you to change it. You know, I, the, the, the people that really wanted this were people that I see both in the clinic, the patients who say to me, you know, how, does my, uh, how do I get my therapist to understand that, that I will never be neutral when I do this event? And I thought, you know what, as a director of an institute who's always trying to get everybody neutral and alternating and reciprocating and doing correct things with their respiratory system, there are those times where none of us are always going to be neutral, I mean, my, including myself. Um, so I think it's sending a message out to the PRI community, the PRI family, that neutrality is a, is an, is a really important thing to consider when you're looking at position and start and stop, initiation and rest and good physiological uh, activity. But it's not something that's, we all want to create and we want to get into zones at times that excite us and that drive us and that we have to really get to to become what we would call successful. So I think it's, it's, it's got this demeanor to it, like its extension tone is negative. Well, it's not. Now how you manage it and work with it and how you deal with it is what I hope this course Will, uh, will help people with. So I, I changed the course to, uh, topic because uh, I felt there was such an animosity to those individuals who can never get neutral. And in reality, we're doing really well with their non-neutrality. This will give an opportunity for the people and the participants to interact with a number of speakers in different areas and people that are dealing with these kind of people, the extension toned up or self-efficacy demanded individual, on a regular daily basis in their own lives. So they're experts at what they do, and they all have PRI uh, concepts that they use and PRI acknowledgement of what we're trying to do. So they're not people that were just sticking in to talk to a bunch of people who like to talk about neutrality. They're people who recognize the need for it and recognize the non-need for it. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a good balance. It'll be a good balance for our, our institute. It'll be a good balance for those people who maybe need to understand that these are people that are not doing necessarily everything wrong. They're doing some things, that, the people that have all this extension tone, they're doing things that are probably they're probably wanting to do, and they're, the demands on them are coming from inside, internally. We need to respect that. We need to grant their wishes, but also guide them through those times. As difficult as that can be, you know, or as not difficult as that could be. You know, people like it, some people don't. People that really like it, we got to remember they like it. You're never going to reduce it completely. We may need to tamp it down a little bit, and when, where, why, and how do we do that should come out of this course. There are those who want none of it, and that's what I think PRI is really good at doing. How do you get those people 
to work at levels where it's not in their lives. So I think it's just a good balance for an institute to talk about this on both sides, if there is two sides of the coin. Great. Thanks. You bet.